Thomas Baldrick here for Oncology TV at ASCO 2015, and we are delighted to take a few minutes from the heart to speak to Ms. Peggy Carroll. She is the founder and executive director of the Fill Your Bucket List Foundation. Love the name, love what it's about. Let's start with opening up your heart and telling us how did this get started? Absolutely, so thank you for the opportunity. Um, I had been in oncology for 25 years when my father was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. And knowing what that meant, I basically said, what's your bucket list? What do you want to do? Write it down. And there were little things. He wanted to visit his brother. He wanted to see my two children, who are his only grandchildren. They were in the high school band and he wanted to see their band competitions and their football game performances. And after the last football game, he died. So he wasn't on hospice, his list was done, and he knew that he wasn't able to have any other treatment, and so he was finished. And I thought to myself, there's something to this list, and it may not be anything huge, but for the family to be able to do those memories and have that last opportunity to do something special meant a lot. So I started talking to his oncologist and my friends involved in oncology, and I said, what do you think? Maybe this is something we can do for other people in the later part of our life when we retire. And everybody said, why are you waiting? Do it now. So we did. We launched the Fill Your Bucket List Foundation last August. And we had a lady in mind as we launched who was a single mother of three teenagers. Um, she had been on treatment for 15 years and was getting to the point where she needed to do something soon fun. Um, to create a memory for her children. And we focus on people that are at the national poverty level or below, and people with an adult cancer diagnosis over 18. Make-A-Wish does a phenomenal job with children, and there was an unmet need. So we launched the Bucket List Foundation and have been just overwhelmed by the support and the ability to help people create memories. Well, I'm sure you're making your father proud. Thank him again for being a United States Marine. Um, so to simplify it for people, it's a make-a-wish for oncology patients who are not financially well off, who don't have the ability to do these types of things. Exactly. Um, what is the scope? Like from, from how far do you go? What kinds of wishes? You know, how do people perhaps submit someone for consideration? Great. Well, we take nominations. We have a website, fillyourbucketlistfoundation.org. People can self-nominate. People can nominate their friends or their family. We also work with healthcare providers. So we have recommendations from physicians, nurses, social workers. And we basically, based on budget that we have available, rank on financial need and also diagnosis. So they do not have to be deemed terminal but looking at where they are in their treatment scope and how they're performing physically if they're able to travel. What's interesting is most of these people have never been on vacation. Most of them have never flown. So when we ask them, what do you want to do? They don't even know how to answer the question. They, they often say, what do you mean? What do I want to do fun? I don't know, I don't know. One lady wanted us to pay her electricity. That was her wish, so we did that. We've had two people want to go to Disney World to take their children and see their children experience Disney World. We had a gentleman who just wanted to go to the Grand Ole Opry and he came back yesterday from his wish. And we had a contact in Nashville that reached out to the Grand Ole Opry, everybody wants to help. And so they had him on the stage, in the wings with the families watching. And after the performances, they came up and said, can we take our picture with you? Would you like to go backstage, see our dressing room? So he was walking around the Grand Ole Opry with Vince Gill. So it's a gift to us to be able to do that. The parameters are really just the two things that are required of cancer and financial need. We do have a budget, of course, and we, um, based on our budget, look at how many nights could that trip be and how many people can be included because the memory is really made with their family. Um, we take a lot of pictures. We try to capture all that for the families. We like to do videos so we can, after the, uh, wish, give all of that to the family. The patients, when they come back, they're feeling better. A lot of them have gone off their oxygen because they feel so good. The lady, the first lady, wanted to go on the Disney cruise. She came off the ship without her wheelchair. And I said, where's your wheelchair? She said, I don't need it. I feel so good, I don't need it. So. Peggy, we come to ASCO and there's all kinds of optimism about 
new advancements in therapy and clinical trials. And, but ultimately, what you're doing brings it all back to the patient. Exactly. And that's our hope, is that the patient who has the opportunity to have all these wonderful medical interventions can also have an incredible emotional intervention with memories that are going to last for them, but more importantly, last for their family. So what's on your bucket list? Not personally, but as a foundation. Uh, what are the things that you could use? Uh, what are the things that you need? Obviously, funding is... Right. First As with and all nonprofits, funding is what keeps us going and keeps the door open and keeps allowing us to grant wishes. But there's a lot of other ways people can help. We're so new, just raising awareness, going to our Facebook page, going to our um, uh, website and liking it and sharing it with your friends, telling people in your circle. We're all connected to cancer, unfortunately but sharing who we are, what we're doing, what we're trying to accomplish. And then a lot of people involved in oncology have a lot of access to air miles or hotel miles or points. We can utilize those as a donation. Um, and also thinking of patients, if you want to recommend patients, or creating a team of volunteers. We're all volunteer run. We don't have any paid staff currently. Um, we like to have volunteers help execute the wish. So depending on where that might be geographically or where um, patients are located in their home, helping support them, um, helping them create their agenda and how are they going to travel and looking at the details. So we have wish granting teams for volunteers. We have a lot of volunteers helping us with PR. Um, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill has taken on the foundation as their PR project. So we have all the students who are in their PR track doing PR for the foundation, which is a huge gift. So there's a lot of different ways people can help, um, mainly just spreading the word and then coming up with fundraising ideas or opportunities. Our dream, our bucket list dream, would be to become one day chapter focused throughout the whole United States and to be the Make-A-Wish for adults. Well, we hope you get there and we'd like to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're bringing out the goodness in people. Keep it up. And the name of the organization, again, is the Fill Your Bucket List Foundation. You can find it here on this website. You can also search for it. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Peggy Carroll. God you. bless. Thank you.